Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna make a simple textured buttercream cake. This cake is a four tier. It serves about 150 people to 165. So that makes this bottom tier a 16 inch round. And as you see here, I've just got that bottom layer attached to an 18 inch cake board. I'm using my level there and then stacking the second layer of the 16 inch tier. And on the bottom tier, I'm just gonna be doing a simple line that wraps around the cake that texture you just hold your cake spatula and spin the turntable and it creates lines all around very rustic look uh, so i'm going to do that on the bottom tier and then the next tier is going to have more of a rough icing look like a spackle look and i'm going to alternate that again on the top two tiers so again a super simple design but very classic it goes well with almost any decor any flower decorations you're going to put on there so here you're gonna see me add all of the icing to the sides, the back of my cake spatula. You can also use a piping bag or a quick icing tip if you're more familiar with that. I tend to do this method. I like using the back of a spatula. I feel like it's a little bit faster for me. And I'm just gonna apply that all around the sides. Then I'm gonna take a cake scraper. I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit, even it out, and then go back and create those lines. And as I'm spinning the turntable, I'm just leaving my hand fairly steady. This particular cake, they wanted a definitely a rustic look. They didn't want it to look too perfect. And so as you can see, I'm not really measuring my lines out to be perfectly around. I'm just sliding that cake spatula around as I spin the turntable. And I went back with a smaller cake spatula that I have in my hand here and added a few smaller lines. So I really wanted a more rustic homemade look. I've done a cake before and I actually think I have a video on it last week I think I filmed that one and it actually is a little smoother so there's less lines I think there's four or five going up the cake and they're kind of smoothed out a little bit more symmetric this is more of your rustic version of that same look and that's one of the reasons I like this look so much is because it's so versatile here you see me adding the cake dowels and in this video you're only going to see me dowel the bottom tier i did dowel every single tier i just chose to only video this bottom tier but i'm using those pipe cutters to cut into those large plastic dowels to use on the bottom tier and that small plastic dowel that i'm using to measure with that'll go in the top two tiers because you don't need as hefty of a dowel in those top two tiers as there's not enough weight Now this is my second tier from the bottom. So this is my 12 inch round. Again, no fruit filling or anything, just a little bit of buttercream as the filling. And I'm just applying that with my cake spatula. And a reminder, this tier is going to be the rough icing is what I call that, or it's somewhat like a spackled look. It's one of my favorites because it is so fast and so simple to apply to a cake. As long as your cake is nice and level, this design looks good every single time. And it is an absolute wonder. And it does really, really well with almost every kind of buttercream you can imagine or cream cheese icing or chocolate icing. They all work with this rough textured icing. So as you can see, just apply it with a cake spatula, take my cake scraper just to make sure I've got somewhat of an even amount all the way around the cake. And then you're gonna see me go back with that exact same cake spatula to create the rough whipped look. And I also wanted to point out, as you watch me do this, all of the cake layers, as I'm stacking them on top of each other and adding the fillings, you'll notice that I unwrap each layer from plastic wrap. 
And someone asked me last week why I do that. So basically how I normally keep my cakes fresh, I don't refrigerate them or freeze them unless I have to. For instance, if I'm carving a cake, I want it to be chilled beforehand. So what I generally do is I bake the cake the night before I am decorating it. So let's say it's a Tuesday night, I decorate or I bake the cake on Tuesday night. I wrap it in plastic wrap while it is still warm. That is very important, I feel like. It keeps it softer, it keeps it more moist, it keeps it from drying out. All the things that you want for your cake, I feel like wrapping them in plastic wrap while they are still warm, even hot sometimes. I usually let them cool in the pan for 10 minutes, and then I release them from the pan, let them sit out in the open air for another 10 minutes, and then wrap them in plastic wrap while they're still warm and pretty warm, almost hot, <laughs> and let them sit overnight in that plastic wrap. The next day, they're perfectly cool, but still very, very moist, and that is when I go to stack them and decorate them. It is so perfect, and so that's why you're seeing me unwrap each cake layer out of plastic wrap before I ice it and stack it. So here you see me using a paper towel to smooth out the top and then to go back and smooth out any flyaways on the sides of those cakes. So you saw me do that probably on every tier. I use the Viva paper towel, the signature cloth, which is smooth and no designs. And that really is perfect for smoothing out your cake. Once you get the icing on and get it scraped off and get it all even, that will take away any lines or if there's any air bubbles or little imperfections in your icing, that will completely smooth that out. And so I absolutely adore it. If you're doing a completely smooth cake, in my world, it is an absolute must. But even on a textured cake like this, it helps me smooth out any little imperfections or what I call little flyaways of buttercream that might be sticking up. It is absolutely wonderful. And if you're using any kind of icing that has a crust to it, so after it sits up, if it has some kind of stabilizer in it, like shortening or meringue powder, that will help it to not harden, but get a slight crust to stay in shape, then the paper towels are perfect for those types of cakes and buttercream. Now you're not going to see me stack the top two tiers because I waited until I got to the wedding venue to stack those and then I applied the flowers. But this concludes the rest of the cake that I decorated at home. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I answered some of your must have questions. Here is the final result at the wedding venue. If you need any extra help with your cake business or with your cake life or looking to build a better cake life, please contact me, comment below, send me an email. I will attach all my information to the end of this cake video. Also, you can find me on Facebook and contact me there. I would love to help you out. Thanks for watching.